Gaussian contracted with A to supply coal to A or anyone A nominated. A sold the coal to Peck. One day, Scotson was ordered by A to deliver the coal to Peck. <laughs> You delivery the call to pack. All right. After that, Scotson followed the instruction to deliver the call to pack. Scotson and Pat then agree at Pat's request that Scotson would deliver the call to pack in return for Pat agreeing to unload the call at the rate of forty nine tons of coal each working day. Are you Pat? Yeah, Scotson? Sure. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I was ordered to deliver this code to you. The I see. What a nice code. Uh, hey, how about you deliver the code for me and in return for the delivery of the code, um, I would like to unload the code at the rate of 49 tons. What do you think about that? Deal, I accept your offer. However, Pat failed to unload the coal at the agree rate which resulted in Scotland's ship being delayed for five days. Hey, now unload the coal at the rate that you have promised me. What? <laughs> promise you what? I tell you what, I'm not going to unload the coal at the rate of 49 tons. Damn you, you shouldn't break the promise. I will bring an action against you. Sue me? <laughs> you know what? There's no contract between you and me. As you have previously promised to A to deliver the same code to me. Fine. Then I will see you in court. Fine. You dumb ass. <laughs> As a result, Scotson was very unhappy with that as Pat had reneged on his promise and therefore Scotson had decided to bring an action against Pat. In the trial, Scotson, who is the plaintiff, says that I delivered the call to Pat and then he promised to discharge the call in a certain manner and yet he reneged on promise. Whereas Pat, who is the defendant, says, That is very true, I did so promise, but you have previously promised to another person to deliver the course, and therefore there was no consideration for my promise. After hearing both parties' long, 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 long grandmother's stories, the judge finally decided that... I'm of opinion that the plaintiff are entitled to our judgment. What? Where is justice? The plaintiff said that in consideration that they would deliver to the defendant a cargo of coals then in the plaintiff's ships. The defendant promised to discharge the cargo in a certain manner. The defendant said this is very true. I did so promise, but you had previously promised to the other person to deliver the coals. And therefore, there was no consideration for my promise. But why is there no consideration? He says that there is no consideration because the plaintiff were already bound to others person to do the same thing. That, in fact, amount to say that a man cannot have an interest in the performance of a contract made with another. But if a person chooses to promise to pay a sum of money and so induce another to perform that which he has already contracted with a I cannot see why such a promise should not be binding. That is what the defendant has done here. He has induced the plaintiff to part with cargo, which they might not otherwise have been willing to do. And he gets the right to the immediate removal. 
which is a benefit to him. Listening to this question on principle, I think there was a good consideration for the promise of the defendant, and the plaintiff are entitled to the judgment. Bullshit! valid contract, there are some basic requirements that must be satisfied. First, there must be an agreement between two parties which is usually shown by the fact that one has made an offer and the other has accepted it. Besides that, there must also be a consideration provided by each party and also with an intention to create legal relations. So, in the case of Scotson and Pack, the question arises as to whether there is a good consideration provided by the plaintiff Scotson for the defendant's past promise. A consideration means that a benefit to one party or a detriment to another party. It is the element of a chain. This is established in Curry and Misa 1875. General rules of the consideration state that for there to be a valid consideration, firstly, the consideration must be sufficient but need not be adequate. Secondly, the consideration must more than the assisting duty and the consideration must also move from the promising. The question arises in Scotland and Pack as to whether the act that carried out by Scotland was more than his assisting contractual duty. According to the general rules of consideration, where a duty is already owed to the other party under an assisting contractual duty, this cannot be a consideration for a new promise. On the fact, Scotland was already contracted with A to supply coal to A or anyone A nominated. Based on the fact, Scotland was ordered by the A to deliver the coal to Peck and Peck had promised to unload the coal at a stated rate. Hence, it is said that there is no consideration provided by Scotland for the promise made by Peck. This is because Scotland was only carry out his assisting contractual duty since he was ordered by A to deliver the coal to Peck. However, there is exception for the general rules of the consideration that is where a party makes a contract to provide a benefit to someone who is not to be party to the contract then there will be a good consideration so back to the Scotland's case we now have to consider whether Scotland has provided a benefit under his assisting contractual duty to Pat who is the third party it is clear that on the fact that Pat got the right to immediate removal which can be considered a benefit to pack. Even though Scotland was already bound to another person to do the same thing. Other than that, as our Q judge say, Scotland might not otherwise have been willing to do if Pack did not induce Scotland to that promise. In conclusion, Scotland has proved to the court that he has provided a benefit under the performance of his assisting contractual duty to Pack, who is the third party. And thereby, there is a good consideration provided by Scotland for the promise made by Pack. Since there is a good consideration, and therefore by extension, the contract between Scotland and Pack. Bang, bang, boy, he going down, 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 boy. To the ground where you left my heart to bleed Bang, she shot you, come and taste so Bang, 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 bang.